Hey, Shalom YouTube. Just wanted to come and do a quick video for you guys. Uh, I was on Facebook the other day and I stumbled upon a video that I, I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, the video was released by, uh, I guess, um, an organization that, that's critical of religion, critical of Christianity, and they were citing a poll by uh, YouGov.com. And YouGov.com is a marketing research and data analytics firm. And uh, evidently, they polled more than 8,000 Americans on their beliefs about the shape of the earth. And so in this video, uh, the, the claim is that we might have figured out the reason why 2% of Americans believe the earth is flat. And so according to this data, uh, according to this poll, um, the original poll showed 84% of people firmly believe the earth is round, 5% said they had their doubts, and 2% said they firmly believe the earth is flat. And again, according to this poll, of that flat earth group, 52% identify as very re religious. So 52% of the 2% of people who believed that the earth is flat. Uh, they identify as very religious. And, and also, the, the video went on to talk about how the, the discussion uh, surrounding flat earth and, and from the from these people that identify as flat earthers or flat earth teachers um, that the tone of these people is very religious and and they showed us uh, several clips of these different uh, flat earthers speaking at conferences and and on uh, interviews talking about how um, you know the globe earth is a satanic lie and if you read the Bible literally then you have to believe that the earth is flat. And, and so, of course, um, this video was sort of trying to assert that religion is the cause of believing the earth is flat. But the implication of that is that religion is the cause of anti-science. Like, if you're religious, you're more inclined to be anti-science, according to um, this, uh, this video. And of course, when you look at the, the reaction, uh, when you look at the comments on this video and the reaction from, from skeptics and atheists, they all say the same thing. They, they're saying, oh, well, you Christians, you're idiots. Look at all these stupid religious people who are anti-science and yada, yada, yada. Well, I have a, a few things that I like to say about this uh, video. Uh, the first thing that I want to say, and, and by the way, uh, full uh, disclaimer, I am religious. I, I am a Christian, um, and I do not believe that the earth is flat, okay? I agree with science that the earth is a globe, all right? So the first thing that I want to say is that you cannot take a fringe segment of anti-science people, flat earthers, you can't take a fringe segment of those people who identify as religious and then broad brush all religious people as anti-science based on that fringe segment. And uh, furthermore, we have to remember that according to this very poll, 48% of those flat earthers did not identify as very religious. So denying the science regarding the shape of the earth is not exclusive to religious people. Um, and the second thing that I'd like to point out here is that the people who say that religious folks are anti-science, they've forgotten that the greatest scientific minds throughout all of history have been religious. They have forgotten that Christianity has given rise to science in the Western world. My friend Michael Jones, he actually has a really great video on this. It's on YouTube. It's called, Is Christianity Evil? But what he points out is that uh, the early Christians understood that the world was engineered by an intelligent mind. And the spread of Judeo-Christian values uh, disenchanted the world and gave it a scientific view. Um, that's because, uh, according to my friend Michael, Christians understood that the world followed natural laws because it was set up 
by a law giver. Uh, Dr. John Brooke, a professor at Oxford, he actually says this. It is certainly true by and large and in the English speaking world, the founders of modern science would have expressed fairly strong religious views. They felt this is a world made by a creator who has impressed the creator's will on the world. Uh, I would also like now to speak to some flat earthers who might be watching this video. I don't know why you would be watching this video, but maybe you're out there and you stumbled across this. Um, if you identify as a Christian, if you're one of the 52% of the 2% of people that believe the earth is flat and that you're also very religious, I want to lovingly inform you that you are hurting your witness and you are bringing shame to the name of the Messiah. I wrote an article uh, a while back. It was a longer article. It was called Five Reasons to Avoid the Flat Earth Controversy. And I, in that article, I unpack this a little bit more. You can read it. it it's online somewhere in, in several different spots. But one of the points that I made in the article had to do with exactly this topic, that this issue here. Um, we see, uh, you know, by the video, the video that I, that I referenced at the beginning of, the, of this video, and we see it by the reaction of atheists uh, to this video, that this foolishness, and it is foolishness, of believing that the earth is flat, believing an untrue thing, right? That this brings all kinds of ridicule and, and sarcasm upon the church and, and people uh, because of this foolishness of a fringe segment of people the entire church is being broad brushed and and labeled anti-science uh, because of the foolishness of a few people now we shouldn't necessarily care what the world thinks of us uh, when it comes to uh, morality and, and when it comes to standing up for, for our convictions and, and what the Bible says and, and, and according to God's commandments. But when we're engaged in foolish behavior, we need to repent because the Bible not only condemns sinful behavior, it also condemns foolish behavior. Read the book of Proverbs, for example. Um, also, Ephesians 5, 15 through 17 says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand that the will, what the will of the Lord is. All right. We are not to be foolish. We are to be wise. We are to make the best use of our time. The best use of our time is not to spread foolish controversies. In fact, the Bible explicitly uh, prohibits believers from spending time on foolish controversies. We're told to avoid foolish controversies because they cause quarrels. Um, we are to not spread foolish controversies, not uh, spread conspiracy theories, not claim that all scientists are lying when they say that the earth is a globe. No, we are to spend our time wisely by spreading the gospel, by advancing the kingdom, by loving people, by caring more about the shape of the people who live on this earth than about the shape of the earth, all right? And also, one more point is that science is not evil. We shouldn't be anti-science. Science is not evil. Science is good. God created science. Yeshua said that we are to worship God in spirit and truth. Those are the only types of worshipers that God is looking for. And guess what? Science is one of the tools that God gave us in order that we could discover truth. God gave us science as a tool to discover the truth. So when we reject science, we are in a sense rejecting a God-given tool uh, for discovering the truth so that we can worship God the way he wants us to worship him in spirit and truth. So on that note, we as believers, we ought to be pursuing science. We ought to be supporting science because science ultimately leads us back to God and, and how to worship him and, and know him better, know his creation better, uh, which is put together and designed according to his ways his laws of the universe that he established according to his intelligent mind. 
All right, thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. Take care.